And Chip, you mentioned it here a season ago. Clemson entering the year with a four next to their name, surprisingly enough to some. Uh, to live up to that ranking, DJ Uyangalale is going to have to be better, plain and simple. Uh, Tigers are giving a big number here to Georgia Tech. Total's coming in at 51. Can you eye inside or total in this spot? I'm going total here, Joe, and I think you're right. DJ Uyangalale needs to get off to a good start and. Dabo Sweeney knows that, and I think they're going to open the offense up. I think they're going to try to do whatever they can to get him going in week one. Uh, Georgia Tech is an offensive football team. Jeff Collins came in there four years ago, uh, changed the offense from a run-based offense into a, a pro-set power offense, and um, I like Jeff Sims, their quarterback. I think he's going to put some points on the board here against Clemson's defense, but I think it's all about Clemson's offense today, and I think they've got to be explosive living a risky life when you're jumping on the other side of the Wizard of Oz, but <laughs> I'm going on the under, and I think that it has to do with how many points is Georgia Tech going to score? Maybe you you do believe in Clemson's offense, and you just want to take that Georgia Tech team total under 14 and a half. I don't hate that either, but I think Clemson's defense is going to be one of the three best defenses in the entire country. They were still so strong during that six-game winning streak at the end of the season, and that was losing Brian Brzee to injury. That was losing multiple starters at all three levels of the defense. The depth of talent that they have right now is absolutely tremendous. They've got six starters starters along the defensive line. I don't think Georgia Tech's going to score enough points for us to hit this over. And I'm going to go back to my old big game Dabo theory, which is when Dabo's in these positions on a very big stage and he's worried that his team might be a little tight, he's a little bit conservative. And they've got a great running game with Will Shipley leading the way. Kobe Pace has a change of pace. And the offensive line is pretty good. So I think that they limit the mistakes that DJU can even make because playing elite defense and running the ball is good enough for Clemson to have an easy win. And when you've got the short week with the Monday night game, I think that's what Dabo is going to be looking for. Oh, it is a Sunday showdown on the Clemson Georgia Tech total. The big men on campus, never not good. Thank you, fellas. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.